It was the dunk that shocked and awed West Michigan. You saw it here last night on 24 Hour News 8. Grand Haven basketball player Nate Van Arendonk taking out the glass while laying down a dunk in last night's game against Rockford. The monster jam already garnering national attention. You may have seen 24 Hour News 8's video on ESPN today. Talking to us live right now from Jenison is the man himself. Nate, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. You bet. Did you get hit by any of that glass? No, luckily I didn't. I was able to escape a lot of it. Nate, I want to know what it is like to be you. What has it been like today? It's like I'm living in a dream right now. Everyone has just been so nice to me today. They're all giving me high fives, chest bumps, hugs. I'm getting uh, calls from everyone. I have tons of voicemails on my phone. I still need to listen to them. Just getting letters and it's been surreal today. It's been amazing. Any of the teachers go easy on you today on class assignments? <laughs> uh, not really. Not too easy, but we watched every, and every one of my classes, we, all the, the teacher played the video of my dunk for us. I love it. That is just great. I know you're in Jenison right now because you're having some teen pictures taken, huh? Yes, we are, yeah. Congratulations to you on that. So when it happened, tell me what it felt like and did you know it was going to come smashing down? Um, it felt really different. I'm used, I've been dunking for a long time, so I'm used to the natural feel of the dunk. And so when I felt a little extra, uh, the brim went a little extra more and I didn't know what happened. And I looked up and all I saw was glass falling down, so I'd try my best to get out of the way. And, and then I realized what happened and I just got, the adrenaline kicked in and I got super pumped. Let me ask you this. What was your reaction when it happened? Did you say, oh, wow, now what? I was pretty much speechless at first. And then when, I, when it all set in, I gave one of my kids, I guess I gave one of the kids in the, in the crowd a chest bump. I didn't even realize what happened. And I, I don't even, it's all a blur for me, really. So as a result, Nate, uh, they had to halt the game. And, I, yes. and we had video of them cleaning up the mess and everything. We see you right now walking around campus today, the man about campus at school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they, they had a decision to make. That was whether they were going to try to replace it uh, or move you out. What were you hearing all during that conversation and discussion? Well, right from the beginning, uh, we heard that they were going to bring in an outside hoop and get it going, maybe be up in an hour and have us playing. But then our coach came in and told us that... Uh, we were going to have to go to either Calvin Christian or Jenison. And so we were hoping more for Jenison because it's a familiar court for us. We played there all of our high school career and our away games. And so we were hoping to be for Jenison. And then he told us we are going to Jenison. So we got our shoes on and got ready to go and finish the game up. Nate, I want to know, do you feel extra pressure as a result of what happened and all the attention you're getting from around the country now? Uh, <laughs> not really. I mean, it was, it was only two points. And so I'm trying not to focus mainly on that. I'm trying to just... Stay re loose, relax, and focus on the next game, really. Real good. Continued success to you. Quite a shot, my man. Thank you. <laughs> you bet.